Well, it is finally time. After about a year of talking about it, I finally got the electric raft all set up for its first run. The last piece of the puzzle, which I now have, was getting my boating license because even for a tiny little trolling motor like that, you actually need a license to operate, which is kind of silly, but hey ho, I have it now. We're all good to go. It's a Tobin Sports Canyon Pro inflatable raft. It's powered by a Minn Kota Endura C230 outboard motor hooked up to a 12 volt 100 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery. Off of just one of these batteries I can get about give or take 25 kilometers of range. I have a plan to get a second one and that'll make my 50 kilometer range that I've talked about with this thing. I've got my compliance kit to make sure I've got all the tools that I am legally required to carry on the boat. So a whistle, waterproof flashlight, bailing bucket, etc. Battery and the bailing bucket are connected to the boat with a carabiner. 3D printed, life jackets for me and the missus, and of course my emergency backup oars in case the uh, power system fails on us while we're out in the water. And of course the purpose of this thing is to do the water sections of the Trans Canada Trail. First time turning it on. Actually even on speed one, that's not a laughable pace. All right, we're on speed one of five. Three, four, five. but surely I'm getting the hang of it. It's so relaxing being out on the water. It's that perfect temperature too. It's not too warm and it's not too cool. So it might take me a while to uh, get around to finishing projects and get everything up and running, but I do eventually get around to doing them. Keyword here is eventually. <laughs> this was mostly just waiting for the warm season because it wasn't until the last few weeks that it was really warm enough to actually ride a, a boat in the water. Yeah, and today has been like the actual like proper warm weather for it, so. I was super stoked to get this thing up and running too. No, not much room to spare. Duck down, duck down. <laughs> phase one was the raft itself. Phase two was sticking an electric motor and battery on it. Phase three will be making it fully autonomous, driving itself. And the way I'm going to do that is by hooking up a servo motor on the transom mount connected to the shaft of the boat motor and using RG Pilot basically make it steer and control the motor acceleration. And with a little GPS module mounted up front, uh, that'll, you just plug in a waypoint mission like you would an RC, like a quadcopter, and it'll drive itself fully autonomous. Oh man, sun's like right in my eyes. If only there was a device designed to go on your head to shade you from the sun. Full throttle. It, it actually gets up in boogies, and I got two people in the, the raft right now, me and my wife. Hi. So, yeah, it's a, it's a 360 watt motor. So we've just been putting around in a little bay here, but this right here, opening up, is uh, Lake Ontario. Too early to call it, but so far it's been a good test run. Ba-da-dum-bum, 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 ba-da-dum. 
Ba-da-dum, bum, ba-da-dum, bum, ba-da-dum, bum, bum, ba-dum. Sun's starting to go down. Uh, I've had my fun. I just wanted to be out here and uh, give it its first test run. What's your thoughts? It's good. Um, I will say that level five is a little bouncy. All right, let's get to shore and then I will give my final thoughts. All in all, I really like this thing. It's probably going to be a bit more awkward to portage it than I thought, but other than that, it was a really good, uh, really good test run. And we were out there for like maybe an hour and a half, and that battery probably only got down to like 80, 75 uh, percent. For one thing, that thing really gets up in boogies a lot more than I thought it would. It definitely exceeded my expectations, especially with two people in the boat. So the raft. We got that at Costco. It came with the oars. Uh, the only things I had to buy were the battery, the motor, and the transom mount.